Hey, today a little bit of a, a different video. Uh, we've got good old Matthew right here. We got Hello. Coleman, and we're in Montgomery, Alabama, and we're going to a reptile and exotic animal show. Don't know why I'm wearing my mask right now. I've never actually been to one on this large of a scale. Not sure how it's going to go. All I know is that they're going to have a lot of scaly critters. So we're just going to go in here and we're going to check it out. See what's happening. See what's popping. Let's get after it. Get in here and get it rolling. We're in. Holy cow. Snakes everywhere. Dude. Oh, look at that one. Oh, here you go. Tarantulas. Oh my god. What is that? That is freaky. I'm not about that right. Check that guy out. That's a hog nose, I think. That is so cool. I love hog nose. Holy cow. Look at that dude. Wow, look at that dude. Look at his eyelash. Oh, check it out. Dude, that thing is so pretty. Oh no. He jumped. I like his little eyelash. Yeah, I do feel him. Crested geckos feel so cool. Oh wow. That is so sick. Thanks, man. No problem, man. Oh my god. Look at that thing. That is, that's insane. Matthew, look at that. That thing is like... Wait, is that a... Oh yeah, you don't want that dude. That's a, that's a bird eater, yeah. That's a bird eater. What is that? That thing is crazy. Ooh. That is a giant leopard gecko. I wouldn't be able to get all of this and them and back into the... Oh, I like this stuff. Love this. No way. Are these red owls? Yeah, those are Costa Rican red eye green trees. Super, super solid eaters. Uh, a couple of the ones I've had in the past were a little bit iffy. I've been looking for those for like forever. Yeah, I've currently got them set up in a 12 by 12 by 24 paludarium. There's like 8 to 9 inches of water on the bottom. Yeah. You got yourself a deal. I literally have been looking for red eyes for forever. Sweet. Alright, I'll be back. A few moments later. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? So guys, as you can see, that says sold. Sold to me. And only me. We got some tree frogs. As you can see right there, they are absolutely stunningly beautiful. So we're gonna put these frogs in Matthew's house and then we're gonna go do a little exploring at this creek that's behind Matthew's house. Let's get it. I hear water. Dang, look at all the bamboo. Matthew's fixing to get us killed. Dude, I feel like we're in China or somewhere else that grows bamboo. Oh, whoa. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. It's beautiful. You seen any fish down here? I have not. When I came, it was overcast and I didn't have my smiley spiders on. Ah. Uh, so you gotta have your smiley spider, bro. Gosh, there's so careful. much bamboo. Look at it's all this bamboo, not. guys. All these bamboos. I dig this, dude. It's beautiful, though. Now we just need to find a fish. We're in beautiful nature, guys. Beautiful nature, that's a leaf. Wow. Y'all ready for this? I'm slightly nervous. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> that's a lot farther than it seems. <laughs> going through the woods, going through the woods, trying not to get eaten by a snake. Going through the woods, trying not to get dead. Dude, sphagnum moss. Real life sphagnum moss. In the wild. In the wild. See all this sphagnum moss? Check it out. Check it out. It's pretty nice. Check that out. I don't know if there will be any fish in here, but it's cool. Doo -doo water, man. I hope it's not doo doo water. If it's doo doo water, <laughs> we're in deep doo doo. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm a beast. Is this our trail right here? I heard a frog. That is a frog, yeah. Oh, God. Get him. Oh shoot, I'm gonna broke my neck. It's not as uh, quite as a, what am I trying to say? It's not quite as treacherous of a climb as old Shawakala. Oh, we marched through the bamboo. Back in Nam, I had to make a tent out of these bamboo things. Bamboo. Oh. Six hours later. So basically, long story short, short story long, we're back at the house 
and now we're getting this frog tank situated. This is not going to be the way that their enclosure is going to permanently look. This is just what we're going to do to make them uh, happy for a little while. So basically I got it all cleaned up. Got some plants in here. Um, it doesn't look like I want it to. The elephant ears are like they're dead pretty much. They'll grow back. I'm not necessarily worried about them. I'm also going to be adding a lot more driftwood to this so don't worry about that. By the end of this they are going to have so many places to climb it's going to be insane. But for right now I mean I only have two of them. This is like plenty of room. The bottom, I was worried about it not holding water. It looks like it's gonna be fine. The water's been in there for a while. But yeah, it looks awesome. It's got a little lock right here. I really don't think these frogs are gonna be able to push the door open. So the lock's not necessarily like a huge deal. But if you have like a bigger animal, like a bigger tree frog, maybe a Cuban tree frog or maybe a snake or something, that would be a definite necessity. These frogs are just so beautiful. Like, like look at that. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. I think these guys could sleep through like an earthquake and a half. They're not bothered by anything I do. Gosh, look at those eyes. Hey buddy, I'll leave you right there. You do you, bro. And then smaller buddy right here. I don't know if I said this already in the video or not. We know that one of these is definitely a male because the breeder he said that he heard it croaking one of them was croaking which means that it's a male that could mean that one of these is a female could mean that both of them are male and he just heard both of them croaking i really don't know he didn't know but if one's male and one's female that is so awesome because that means we could potentially have babies of these guys so that is super cool oh gosh oh gosh all right dude you gonna get out oh sheesh that is so sick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sort of coax this guy to get out. The eyes on these things are insane. Isn't it cool what God created? There you go. <laughs> He's looking at himself. He's following his reflection with his eyes. Don't jump, I wanna show you to the camera. Can I show you to the camera without you jumping? That is so awesome. There you go. Had a boy. Oh gosh. All right. Well, there's two red eyed tree frogs. There's one of the little guys, and there's another. I have already named this one Rafiki, so I'm hoping that's the boy. If it's not, I'll probably name that one a girl's name. And if it's a boy and a girl, then I'll just I'll just switch it. We've also got the clownfish. They're doing awesome. Everybody in the saltwater tank is doing phenomenally. But yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Obviously, we've got a lot to do with the tree frog tank. These guys are so cool. Thank you for coming on this adventure with me. As always, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day, and I'll be seeing you later.